students today we are going to start our theme six this is the three orders this concept is quite familiar to you people because uh, it is in this chapter you are going to discuss um, the three estates of the uh, french society uh, which you all know was nobility and um, priest and peasants so the concept is the same but now they have explained you in a more detailed manner now as you can see the first estate was clergy the next was nobility and the third one was peasants sources through which we can understand about this society and uh, this era are the documents detail of land ownership records of births marriages and deaths kept by the church help to understand the structure of families and of population the inscriptions in churches and songs and dances basically tell about the the whole system of that era you can see in this pictorial form of uh, presentation of the feudal pyramid uh, in this kings were on the um, they were head then were the nobles and then were the knights this is a new concept which will you, which you will understand in this chapter and then were the peasants so if you uh, see in detail the land was basically given to the nobles nobles used to give land to the knights and for that they used to take fee it was a kind of tax or a rent and this these knights used to give land for cultivation to these peasants and they used to say that uh, you, you as we are protecting you so you have to work on these lands for us similarly these peasants used to give food and services to the knights the knights used to give protection and military services to the nobles and the nobles used to give money and the knights to the king so this was the give and take relationship between the kings and the peasants this is how the power was um, you know divided among the sections of the society now what is feudalism so the term is derived from a german word feud which means a piece of land and ism related principles to follow so basically the principle of following uh, how land will be uh, distributed is basically feudalism so feudalism was a process that revolved around the principles of land related matters all social political and economic affairs of the society were led by the land what are the features of feudalism a king kind of agricultural production based on the relationship between the lords and the peasant peasants work on the land of the lords in lieu of labor services peasants got military protection from the lords lords decided the judicial matters of the peasants lords was all lord was also in all proper proprietors of land feudalism covers economic political and social aspects of life you can see another pyramid kind of uh, system shows in the feudalism that there was king then was tenants in chief then what then there was knights and then there were peasants the name france uh, you have uh, 
you have already heard about France, France, France. But before a few uh, bef- in in the ancient times, there was no country like Flan- France. Gaul was a province of Roman Empire with a wide range of geographical features. A German tribe named Franks confirmed their name to Gaul, and it later came to be known as France. So basically, this is how France got its name. England, land of angels. So now we will talk about the angels and the sec- seconds uh, came from the Central European and got settled in England during the 6th century. The name of country England is modification of angels la- land as England who in, wa- um, England was inhabited by angels. Feudalism developed in England from the 11th century. The first order, the clergy. The Catholic Church had its own laws, owned land given, given to its, uh, by it by the rulers and could leave taxes. That means they could, they could take taxes. The way, uh, the, this, there was a very powerful institution which did not depend on the king. At the head of the Western Church was the Pope lived in Rome. The Christians in Europe, guided by the bishops and cler- the clerks, who constituted the first order. Most villages had their own church where people assembled every Sunday to listen to the sermon by the priest and pray together. The church and the society. Fourth century onwards, Christmas and Easter began to be celebrated. Sunday became holiday, pilgrimage started. Peasants welcomed holy days, holidays, because they were not expected to work on those days. Monks, spiritual Christians in feudal society. They lived in religious communities called abbeys or monasteries, spent their time in worship, study, and manual labor like farming. Most abbeys were single sex communities where men and women lived in separate monasteries. Monks and nuns didn't marry. The word monastery is derived from a Greek word, monos, meaning someone who lives alone. It was a place where spiritual people spent their life alone and separated from worldly things. Two well-known monasteries established by St. Benedict in Italy 529 and Cluny of Burgundy in 910. The second order, the nobility, it had a central role in social processes. This is because they controlled land. This control was the outcome of a practice, vassalage. Vessel plus the vessel one who holds land under a lord, that is tenant. The noble was the land of the lord of all the people settled on this land. His house was called manor. Manorial states, central center of wealth and power. A lord house was known as the manor house in feudal society. He would control the peasants' village in the manorial estate. Man- manorial estate were self-sufficient economic centers. Each and every requirement of daily life were fulfilled in these centers. The grains were grown in these uh, in the fields. Blacksmiths and carpenters maintained the loads, equipments, and refer, uh, refurnish the ornaments. Stone ma- uh, masons uh, managed their buildings. The women prepared fabric, and children worked in lords' wine presses. The estate cons- consisted of woodlands and forests where the lords did did hunting. The estates contained pastures. The church was also part of the estates. Knights, a distinctive group. Regular localized wars in Europe, insufficient and mature peasants, soldiers, absence of good cavalry led to the evolution of knights. They were under the lords. They paid his lord customary fees and pledged to fight for him in wars. The lords granted a piece of land, fief, 1,000 to 2,000 acres of more for knights in lieu of the services. 
the lords gave the knights a piece of land called fief the uh, a knight fief consisted of a house for him and his family church settlements of dependents together with watermill and wine press the peasants cultivated the land of the fief a king could serve more a knight could serve more than one lord but remain loyal to his own lord free peasants and serfs vast majority of people unpaid this was the third order which was peasants unpaid labor services for lords usually 3 days in a week the men had to re- render military services at least 40 days every year women and children made cloth cloth candles and pressed grapes to prepare wine for the lords use direct tax imposed on peasants by the king that that was known as tell the clergy and nobles were exempted from paying this tax factors affecting social and economic relations the first one is the environment from 5th to the 10th century most of the europe was covered the vast forest land available for agriculture was limited peasants dissatisfaction with their conditions oppression take refuge in the forest intense cold climate long winters short growing seasons for crops reduced yields from agriculture from 11th century europe entered with warm phase average temperature increased longer growing season clearing forest expansion of area under cultivation second land use primitive agricultural technology only mechanical aid available was flow d- drawn by a term of oxen to scratch the surface of the earth and unable to fulfill a fully draw out the natural productivity of the soil very labor intensive fields had to be dug by hand in every four years method of crop rotation land was divided in half wheat was planted in one side while the other field left fallow and the next year vice versa soil so slowly deteriorated famines became common chronical man- mal- malnutrition life was difficult for the poor the lord tried to increase their income since it was not possible to increase output from the land peasants were forced to cultivate all lands in the manorial estate and spend more time doing this they were legally bound to do they started passive protest they spent more time cultivating their own fields they also avoided performing unpaid extra services they came into conflict with the lords over pastures and forest lands and saw these lands as sources of to be used by the whole society while the lords treated these as their private property the third was new agricultural technology by the 11th century there is evidence of technological change introduction of heavy iron tipped plows and mold brought digged much deeper and turned the top soil properly harnessing of the animals to the plow improved instead of the neck harness shoulders harness came into use this enabled the animal to exert greater power horses were in better condition now with iron horse shoe which helped in preventing food decay increase use of wind and water energy more water power and wind powered mills changed the changes in land use switch from a two feed system wheat peas barley oats beans etc more protein in the diet of the europeans and the, their animals increase in production food availability doubled the peasants could produce more food from less land average size of land reduced to 20 to 30 acres re- reduce the amount of labor needed this gave the peasants time for other activities water mills and wind mills cost a lot of money initiatively taken by lords peasants like initiative uh, peasants take initiative in many things extending arable land set up small forge and smiths in the village iron tipped plows and horse shoes were made and repaired cheaply big of money based uh, economic transactions the person personal bonds with the pay, uh, bonds the basis of feudalism were weakened lord asked rent in cash for their convenience 
farmers selling their crop for traders for money sold in the towns prices hike in the time of crop failure doubled the price of the agricultural products between 1270 and 1320 so slowly slowly they actually uh, try to solve their problem of uh, low uh, income and low agricultural production and um, still there were complications in their life a fourth order that is the towns and township expansion of agriculture was accompanied by growth in their in three related areas population trade and towns it is very obvious when there is food then these three things will obviously increase selling centers for agricultural surplus markets of tools and clothes town like features a town square a church roads where merchants built shops and homes and office of town administration in other places homes grew around large castles bishops estates or large churches saying town air makes free now this is a phrase which uh, which is used in the chapter and this is being explained in this slide in the 13th century many serfs escaped from their masters and hide themselves in new towns if they successfully completed a period of one year without being discovered by their masters they could become free men therefore they say uh, the saying beca became popular in the society that town air makes free in towns instead of services people paid taxes to the lord who owned the land on which the uh, town stood many people in towns were free peasants or escaped serfs who provided unskilled labor shopkeepers merchants etc skilled bankers and lawyers trade guilds they were the basis of economic organization in the medieval europe each crafts uh, crafter society uh, industry was organized into a guild guilds controlled the quality price and the sale of the products the church large churches were called cathedrals they were built by uh, in the france by the 12th century they were bel belonged to the monasteries they were made of stones and ears to complete stained glasses were used in windows cathedrals led to the development of small towns the purpose of using stained glasses in the win windows of cathedral describing stories of bible so that literate could understand stories the glasses made the cathedral radiant for the people who were inside during daytime the light of the candles made them visible for the people outside during nights the crisis of 14th century europe's economic expansion slowed down due to following factors climatic change intense cold uh, cyclones foods uh, floods decline in the trade scarcity of metal coins plague black, black death or bubonic plagues caused the large scale deaths it was brought by these rats that came to europe along with the trade the social unrest the income of the lords was badly hit. They tried to revive labor services. This was violently oppressed by the peasants, particularly the better educated, more prosperous ones. In 1323, peasants revol revolted in Flanders, in 1358 in France, and in 1381 in England. Despite the services repression, uh, service repression, severe repression, the sheer intense of peasants' opposition ensured that the old feudal relations could not be reimposed. In the 15th and 16th century, European knights strengthened the, their military and finally uh, power they created powerful states. Uh, the new monarchs Louis XI in France, Maximilian in Austria, Henry uh, VII in England and Isabella in and Ferdinand in Spain started the process of organizing standing armies, a permanent bureaucracy, national taxation, and in Spain, the Portugal began to play a role in European uh, Europe's expansion overseas. Impact of political change, powerful army, use of gunpowder and cannon, decline of the feudal structure, organized tax, suppression of the feudal lords, lords change as the supporters, that means they change their dresses, the growth of 
uh, money based economy struggle between the king and the 